Warning, this video includes footage recorded post-operation and includes images of the patient's recovery process. Images of bruising, damaged tissues, bandaged wounds, and some small residual blood may be shown. While graphic close-ups are avoided, viewer discretion is advised. I don't know, I'm getting like really hot and sweaty right. talking under this. I feel like I can't breathe. <laughs> Cardio. <laughs> Hey, what's up? And happy Sunday. I made it through the weekend. I'm kind of at the home stretch of my whole healing process now at this point. Um, I went in super early to the clinic this morning because normally they're not open on Sundays, but we came at 9 a.m. just to have our dressings changed. So like no hair washing services, no facial service, anything like that, because Sunday is like normally an off day. But Dr. Lee was there, so he checked everything and he told me that I don't need to wear my cast anymore. So for work tomorrow, this is basically what I'll be going in like. I am going to ice my face again tonight and then um, also for the bruising that's like far away from any taping and like open wounds, I'm able to put a tiny bit of makeup on that. I really just kind of want to get this like darker bruising that's under here so that that's not quite so strong when my <laughs> students first see me. They're pretty little, so I know they're gonna kind of just bluntly ask what happens. So today, unfortunately, it's like really rainy day, but uh, my friend Nara and I are going to go out for brunch in Karusikil. So Karosugil is a road in Shinsa, and Shinsa, just like Apujong, they're kind of like right next to each other. They're basically both like very, very famous for plastic surgery stuff. It's just like billboard after billboard after billboard for plastic surgery clinics. Um, there are tons of like hospitals down the street. You're almost bombarded with the whole, you need a new face? Let us make the ideal you kind of ads. So it's like a little bit overwhelming, but at the same time in that area, that's also kind of where a lot of people who come here for medical tourism will go to like shop and eat and hang out. So you see a lot of people who look like this or worse. It's pretty common to see people with like bandages and bruising and like people who've had surgery sort of out and about the streets there. I got my dressing change for the day. I'm like pretty much good to go. So let's uh, pop out and go check out the Hi! Hello! Uh, so we are shopping now on Karusugyo. Um When we came here earlier, it was like raining and crappy and there was no one here. And then we had a coffee at the Starbucks and now there's like a whole bunch of people all over the place. Oh, it's really hot, yeah. It's humid. I keep like just sweating under here. <laughs> and like, having to like reach up and under my mask with a tissue to like dab it off. It's really disgusting. It's really disgusting. <laughs> uh, but that's okay, whatever. Um, anyway, so we're headed to uh, check out some makeup shops right now because I need to find some stuff that I can kind of cover up and conceal my bruises for tomorrow. That's obviously not going to change anything soon and they made it clear that they're like here to stay for a week. <laughs> so we tried skin food, um, but the concealers there I think aren't like peachy enough to really cover like the amount of darkness that I have in my under eye circles. So uh, we're gonna go and try Lobe. Apparently there, there's the, what is it, Medi? Medi-Heal? medi Yeah, medi Medi-Heal, There's like a, a, full, a really like full coverage cushion or something. Uh, that I can use that people really like. Highly recommend it. Anyway, yeah, so we're gonna go do that uh, and we'll see you what we can find. Cool. Okay, bye. Okay, so here's LOHP. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> um, that's clearly not gonna work. So, uh, Let's check. I think Olive Young though has. Um, yeah, I think I've seen it at Olive Young before. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, 
you lobe. This is not helpful. Watch me get like my new nose busted by a guy with a ladder. Like. <laughs> Cool. Oh, they've got like, are those color compacts? They're gonna be pretty yellow for a while, so we're gonna go with this color corrector as well. And that, because I've got like so much yellowing in here and all around, and even when the bruising has gone away, I'm just gonna be like really yellow around my eyes for a while. Try that. Alright, so I've turned off my sound here because you don't really need to listen to my podcast for the sound of me eating, but this is basically what I've been doing every evening and every morning. I got these ice packs from the clinic that I can put in my freezer, so I just ice my face, listen to a podcast, maybe eat some snacks, and kind of just chill out. That's about it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!